My build hits really, really hard. A lot of people have been asking me, how the hell do you hit so hard with your build when I'm streaming? So I wanted to showcase all of my armor, all of my abilities, all of my talents, all of my everything so you guys can understand. This isn't perfected yet. It's not, it's not perfected yet, but I wanted to showcase it. Let's jump into the video. Here we go. Hey guys, Entash here, and uh, today I wanted to showcase my pretty much finalized build for World Tier 4. Now, there's going to be another world tier coming out, and it's going to render almost all of my gear obsolete, which kind of sucks. But for right now, it is pretty damn sexy. So let's go over uh, the stats and, and everything right now. So I've got 42% critical hit chance. I've got 88% critical hit damage, 82% headshot damage, and uh, a pretty solid 1.7% reload, or 1.7 second reload speed. I've got a 30% uh, reload speed bonus. And uh, my assault rifle damage is boosted by 19.0% and uh, another 5% here. So the stats are pretty good. i got lots of crit chance. Uh, I've got a lot of different mods here. I've got the Berserk, Restorative, Hard Hitting. I've got a lot of good mods here. So I'm going to go over the actual gear and show you guys how this makes uh, this build just so freaking strong. Just so, so strong. So let's start off with the weapon. Okay got an assault rifle. The reason why I'm using an assault rifle is to proc the berserk, but I do have a fantastic rifle if I want, but then my uh, my berserk perk goes MIA. But this gun is pretty similar DPS to this. This one shoots really slow, but it hits like a truck. But this is my main go-to, my ACR. It's got a good base damage on it. Reload speed solid, but the two perks that are sexy are fast hands, where critical hits at a stack of 3% reload speed, and allegro. This allows me to shoot very quickly. This allows me to land uh, some crits and get some extra reload speed, which procs with my other, excuse me, my other weapon, the Chatterbox. Now, the Chatterbox on its own is pretty solid. Every shot landed grants 1% fire rate, up to 60%, and kills this weapon refill 20% of the magazine. You then get a buff where every shot landed increases the magazine size by 1%, and killing a target consumes this buff to fully refill the magazine. So essentially, trash mob killer. That's what this SMG is for. But the blabbermouth perk is where it gets really sexy. So while holstered, reloading your weapon within 5 seconds after a kill grants 20% rate of fire. Wow! That is insanity! That is extremely, extremely good. Now, on the armor, we've got a Weivernwehr. This has critical hit damage, drone skill, and crit chance. This is the set gear, the brand gear. Okay, so I've got three pieces of this, but on this particular one, I've got a nice chunk of damage to elites, 34% damage to elites, and I'm using restorative. Now, there's other options here. Um, one of the good ones I would like to take is dialed in, but I can't, I can't swap it out right this second. There are probably better perks for that slot, but for right now, I'm using restorative because I play a lot of solo, and it heals me up. Now, for my... Backpack, again, wyvern, uh, wyvern, it's got crit chance, weapon damage, and critical hit damage. This first perk is wasted, I can't really, uh, can't really use anything, but I've got the restorative perk once again on here. This is not the best backpack, I could probably find a better backpack, but I wanted this brand set bonus, right? I now have my Fenris group. So this is giving me assault rifle damage and protection from elites, as well as crit damage, crit chance, and some bonus armor. But the big perk on here is Berserk. 10% weapon damage for every 10% of max armor depleted. I've also got a 15% boost to my damage to elites. This is a kick-ass chest piece. The roll on it is absolutely fantastic. Now as for gloves, I've got Eraldi Holding for 10% accuracy, 9% assault rifle damage, and the reason why I'm using this bad boy is because of the obliterate perk. Depleting an enemy's armor grants 25% critical hit damage. That's a nice boost of damage to get. I've got some other uh, arm pieces here that I could probably use that are pretty solid, but I really like the way this one plays out when I bust an enemy's armor. As for my my pants, or my, my holster, I've got a wyvern there with 18% critical hit damage as well as a critical hit damage talent. It's a pretty solid holster overall. Again, I could probably switch it out for some other things if I need, but for right now, this is gonna be my go-to uh, holster. Knee pads, now knee pads, these are interesting uh, because these have 
t kind of two perks that I really like on it. So it's got the protection from elites in the brand bonus. It's got some critical hit chance, which is a nice little chunk, 5%, but restorative for the 10% health on kill, and the big one is cloaked. When your armor is depleted, nearby enemy skills are disrupted. This also stuns nearby enemies, so if you're getting pushed by an enemy that ends up pu uh, busting your shield, in a lot of cases, you can turn around, kill him, and heal up. So I've actually got quite a bit of heal on kill. I've got 10% there, 10% there, and 10% there. So if I'm ever in a panic situation, this is 30% healing, right? 30% healing, that's pretty damn good. I've got my Berserk perks, so sometimes I like to make sure my armor is a little low so I can make sure I get those damage, those damage numbers up, right? Because the lower my armor, the more damage I'm getting. And so sometimes I, I'm at like 50% shielded and I don't, uh, or armor, and I don't heal it up because I'd rather get this extra bonus damage. But then I get pressured and I almost die. So getting three, three multiple heals right here is a lot of healing to do, right? Now, as for skills, um, I've been dabbling with his Defender Drone. Uh, I don't have any mods that really help it, but I've been dabbling with his Defender Drone. Not sure if I love it. Typically, what I do is I use the uh, Reviver. So I use the Reviver guy, and it, uh, it brings me back to life when I die. And then my other one is the, uh, the Chem Launcher. The Chem Launcher is a fantastic healing item. So I've got a healing item here. It's got a pretty low cooldown, multiple charges. I really, really enjoy this bad boy. Okay, I've got an extra ammo slot because of the, the pneumatic slot here. I think that this is one of the best healing items in the game. And so that's my build. That's everything right there. ACR. Chatterbox. Wyvernware. 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 Fenris. Fenris. Armaldi. Or Araldi. Araldi. My, as for my, um, you know, my specialization, I went with Sharpshooter for one reason. Um, it's actually for the reload speed, 30% reload speed. I've got 25% headshot damage and 30% increased weapon stability. These are pretty much the main three perks, right? Even though I'm using an assault rifle, these three perks make my build just so damn powerful. I, I, I absolutely love it. You know, I've got, um, I've got this plus 15% rifle damage. Like, if I was using my rifle, this is obviously good, but my assault rifle just hits so freaking hard. I can melt so many enemies back to back to back. So I personally really enjoy, uh, enjoy this. So sharpshooter is my specialization. I'm sure that there's something else optimal that maybe I'm missing, but that's it. That's, that's the build. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.